and welcome back to the Harvey Norman Lounge. Lani Lopez, best-selling author and naturopath. And we are looking at something that's near and dear to, well, I think pretty much everyone's, everyone in the cafe's heart this morning. Are there any health benefits to drinking coffee? Morning, Mel. Yes, there are health benefits. Yay! <laughs> a lot about health benefits. I'm always reading surveys about them and noting them down going, God, that means it's a good thing to drink. Uh, is it true or is it coffee companies' publicity? I mean, what, what do we look for fact-wise? No, wise? in fact, um, did you know that it was one, it's one of the biggest natural drugs in the world? And that's the um, caffeine, the coffee bean. And we know that 60% uh, of people that drink coffee on a long-term basis actually have true heart health benefits which is good because it means um, as we get older, we have problems with our heart, you know, the heart can beat too mm. fast or we get congestive heart failure. So <laughs> we're having actually a herbal drink when we're having a coffee. Oh, I so see that's magnificent news. But there would be such a thing, I think it's too much. <clears throat> Speaking Always. of herbals, I've got that <laughs> curry <laughs> totally stuck in my throat. Um, so, yeah, have so, some coffee. <laughs> yeah. So too much is not a good thing, is it? Uh, over a long period of time, coffee can really get rid of the adrenaline out of your body. Mm. And that's no good because we do need to keep some in. So people that are really living on their coffee instead of having breakfast or, mm. or lunch, it can play a lot of havoc with our endocrine system, that's our hormonal system mm. and your adrenal system. Once you play uh, havoc with that, then your energy, instead of getting a nice high Everything from having like coffee, this. you get a, no, you just wake up and you just, nothing happens and you have a cup of coffee, nothing happens. Or um, on this flip side, people could have coffee one and at night time they can't sleep. And that, that can tell you don't have any more coffee. Mm. It's funny because some people say they, they drink a certain amount of coffee and they get the jitters. I've never had that experience. Is that How much a, coffee do you normally drink? Probably two cups a day, maybe three. Okay, yeah, because some people drink up to 10, sometimes 14. Okay. Yeah, like okay. a glass of water, they're having coffee. Now, interestingly, um, if you have around about 10 cups of coffee, then it has a diuretic effect, so it can dehydrate you. And some people think that, oh, no, I can't have that. If I have two cups of coffee, I'll be dehydrated, whereas studies actually show it's a lot more. So what sort of amount should you be drink could you be drinking per day that's not going to be harmful for I think you? I doing the right thing. Benefits. Two is good. Okay. No, two, so two shows benefits. Three is on a day when I'm very, very tired to do that. Um, so what about how you make your coffee or how you take it? I mean, milk and sugar, that obviously has an effect on it too? It does, yes. So um, milk and sugar is just a higher calorie. Um, we, we, you, I saw you speaking about that before. Yeah. And uh, sugar's, you know, no good. You try and cut back on your sugar depending. Like if you're a five sugar and one cup, kind of girl mm -hmm. that's well, what are you saying logo. to putting coconut oil in your coffee because I've done that on occasion mm -hmm. and it's actually really you whip it up coconut like coconut oil a teaspoon of it whip it up and it goes almost like a milky coffee great you know if you want to um, put some weight on you add as much fat as you like or butter or <laughs> coconut cream which sounds <laughs> bizarre but it's actually surprisingly tasty um, so I think that would be a good treat mm, okay so, yeah maybe you just stick to the um, black coffee or trim some people prefer soy almond milk you name mm. it so does it matter what kind of coffee you drink? Well, an espresso is going to be a lot stronger. So you're looking at um, 80 to 140 milligrams of caffeine. I think in some um, caffeine capsules, it's around about 200 to 400 milligrams. And a piece of chocolate, you're looking at around about 30 milligrams. And a cup of tea is around about 60. So you're really upping your dose wow. when you have espresso. And what about and double shots? instant coffee? Instant is um, really refined and there's a lot of processing to get instant. Mm. So instant and even decaf's the worst because there's a lot of pulling out of the caffeine using um, chemicals that we really just don't need in our body. So I would say well, that's um, just don't go for the de decaf. Go caffeinated coffee or um, try some other alternative that's not going to be decaf. That's that's very fascinating that mm. you say that uh, because I've never heard. I always thought yeah, it was a good thing to be uh, And also, if you are a coffee drinker or you drink a lot of coffee, then your res energy is pretty good for that, isn't it? <laughs> uh, oh, I kind of did that. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I like that. That was very good. Uh, yes. Um, when we have too much adrenal stress from um, caffeine, and caffeine's very, very good um, before meals too because it helps to release hydrochloric acid mm -hmm. and you want to kind of get that going. But if um, you're just having too much and your adrenals are shot, then there are certain herbs that do help to support the body while you're cheating and drinking coffee or if you've just had too much in your life. Excellent. Lani, thank you so much. To find out more about how Lani can help you and to purchase any of her supplements, go to her website at lanilopez.com.